The president taking a swipe at incoming Utah Senator Mitt Romney following Romney's anti-Trump op-ed in the Washington Post. I wish Mitt could be more of a team player. You know, I'm surprised he did it this quickly. I was expecting something, but I'm surprised he did it this quickly. If he fought really hard against President Obama, like he does against me, he would have won the election. <laughs> And the president isn't the only one taking on incoming Utah Senator Mitt Romney for his anti-Trump op-ed. Romney's niece, the RNC chairwoman, tweeting in part, quote, for an incoming Republican freshman senator to attack Donald Trump as their first act feeds into what the Democrats and media want and is disappointing and unproductive. Here with more is RNC chairwoman and the niece of the guy who wrote the anti-Trump op-ed, Rona McDaniel. Rona, uh, Rona uh, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. What was Mitt thinking? Well, he, you know, he gave an interview yesterday and he said, I felt like I needed to get ahead and, and explain how I'm going to respond. Uh, you know, as party chair, not as Mitt's niece, I just wanted to point out that this is what Democrats want. They want to see infighting with our party. And I see uh, voters across the country. I talk to people in our party and they say to me all the time, we want Republicans to stick together. We want them to support this president. He's doing great things for this country. And let's make sure that we're taking on Schumer and Pelosi. That's what we need to do as Republicans. Republicans because this is going to be a fight and they are okay. leading the progressive socialist agenda and the president and Republicans are leading the economic prosperity in this turnaround for our country. So Rana then are you saying that your uncle was actually helping the Democrats with their messaging by attacking the president? I think any time Republicans are critical of this president. It becomes a media fr feeding frenzy. They love the anti-Trump narrative within our own party. And I think there's other things we can talk about as Republicans. We can talk about uh, Schumer and Pelosi being unwilling to uh, open the government because of border security, very reasonable measures that the president's putting forward. We can talk about Medicare for all and what that would do to bankrupt our country. There's a lot of things that we can take on together as Republicans. And Republican voters don't want to see us infighting. Yeah. And that's what I see as party chair. Well, um, you know, it was a number of years ago that your uncle was the Republican nominee and uh, most of the Republican Party was on his side. He didn't win, but he ran a good race. But now uh, a majority of Republicans are on Trump's side and a lot of them are angry at your uncle. Well, I love my uncle, and this uh, my tweet yesterday had nothing to do with family. I would have done this to any freshman incoming senator, and I would have said, hey, let's focus on the real issues here, which are the Democrats right. who are proposing dangerous policies for our country, and let's remind Americans about the good things that have come out of the Trump administration, judicially, taking on ISIS, funding our military. Wages are up 3%, 4 million new jobs. We have a media that 90% of the coverage is negative against this president. Mm -hmm. The Democrats are obstructing at right. an unprecedented level. As a party, we need to come together if we're going to be successful because we're up against unprecedented odds and this juggernaut of negative Democrat mm -hmm. uh, and media attention. So we've got to come together and and. Republicans want to see our senators and our congressional members support this president. There's right. room for disagreement. Absolutely. But let's come together when we can and let's remember Schumer and Pelosi are the ones that are leading this country in a bad okay. direction or trying to. We, uh, I read this morning in Politico that apparently uh, your uncle gave you a heads up. He said, hey, going to put you in a tight jam, just want you to know. And then you wound up calling the president. Yeah, I was in Aquaman, the movie Aquaman, on New Year's Day. You know, all of us go to the movies, and I got a little bit of a heads up, and uh, and I, of course, let the president know. And I think, you know, my Uncle Mitt doesn't want to put me in, in a bad position at all. Uh, but the reality is I acted as party chair. He's going to act as senator. And I'm okay. going to say to anybody in our party, our voters want you to support our president. Take your, your bully pulpit, take your media um, savvy and your leadership and attack the Democrats because they're the ones that our party wants to see you take Rana, on. After uh, you sent out your tweet, did you hear back from Mitt Romney? Yeah, he sent me a note. This, our family fights, I mean, about, not fights, but we've had um, disagreements on politics for a long time. This is part of our family. He said, you know what, you've got to do what you've got to do. He understands. Well, he some, understands. some people think that uh, your uncle might now be the leader of the Never Trump movement. I don't think that that's the case. He has said he will work with the president. The president said, let's be a team. Let's work together. He put out an olive branch. I hope 
that they can work together. Think of how powerful these two men could be if they're working together on issues right. and what we can do for our country. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation since the op-ed that now maybe Mitt Romney wants to challenge the president in a primary in 2020. Yeah, he addressed that yesterday uh, on another show, and he said, no, that's not the case. I'm not going to run. I've run before. That's not why I'm here. He's here to represent the people of Utah. Uh, let's come together on the issues that we know are going to benefit the American people and work together as a party to put policies forward that continue the economic prosperity and the growth that we're seeing for this country. And President Trump has led the way. He has right. been a leader of our party. He has been a change agent. And Americans are better off because of his leadership. All right. Ronna McDaniel, the RNC chairwoman, Mitt Romney's niece, going to be a little awkward at the next family reunion. <laughs> Just saying. All right. No, we'll be fine. All right, Ronna, thank you very much. Thank you. All right.